hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video um i'll be showing you guys how to use pixel lab um actually i won't be going through every single thing yeah but i'll leave there will be a link in the description box there for you to get um access to the pixel lab tricks and tips and tricks for uh, a particular video that one actually i explain better there so you can get uh, more hints for pixel lab there this is mainly for beginners this tutorial for those who don't know how to use pixel lab but if you're not a beginner, I would really love you to check out the link in the description box there to get access to the pixel app tips and tricks. So with that being said, let's get started. Alright, so let's just start with what I wear from everything at the top here, everything at the top here, which you can see. But like I said I won't go into detail for things that are actually not that relevant. So click on this plus icon here. It's quite simple. This is exactly what you're seeing here. This is what it does. So text is for adding new text in Pixel App so you can be able to, you know, re-edit your text to just write anything you want and we did that okay for okay, that is that for that next thing here is um current date and actually use this one this is just to, yeah, this is what it does okay the next one is sticker the same thing this is what it does so that's a sticker blah 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 that what it does <laughs> so the next one is shapes you can we just click on this um this square shape here or this triangle that's facing down click on this then yeah it, you'll be able to select any shape you want all right for the for this shape you can give it a radius you can see the, it's, it's just it was only um square so you can give this a radius like i said there's no radius here so for that you can reduce your opacity change the color or pick a gradient depend on it depends on what you want in order to change the color entirely click on this plus icon here and then you'll be able to select your color so in order to pick a specific color click on this color picker and you know you can select colors from your designs that you have imported in pixel lab so the same goes for the gradient the same thing just click on this plus icon be able to select the um, layout you want here depending just click on anyone at the top you able to select you can actually adjust this too you can adjust this so this first gradient point is for a particular color you want to use so you click on this icon here select your color again like i mentioned you just can use the color picker or use this um, pen tool to get your color the exact color is cold so um that is that do the same for this that's pick your gradients all right so this is just for adding new gradients adding new gradient like that like that so that is that i actually give your text i mean sorry your shape is stroke okay you can see this you can see this that it does but i actually don't use this here i use this once i already um you know put in my text like this then i'll go to stroke make sure you're on this icon this icon here then you go to stroke and you know you can add your add a stroke here that's this as it does okay um let's see if i finish from the top okay yes next thing is from gallery picking your images how to import your images in pixel lab by designing okay just click on that it's simple just click on that from gallery then to take you to your gallery just click on this i'm facing that just click that from gallery and then pick whatever image you want to pick all right the next thing here is draw okay actually don't use this mod but let me just show you what you can use it for all right so the next thing here we have is um draw so just click on that draw and uh, you know select the let me just pick a white color you can still change the size but you can't see it now because you have not done anything you can't see it now because you have not done anything so let's keep the size at um three okay the same thing with the smoothness just leave it where it is all right just pick um i'll be using a dash line and neon so you can see this just you know be creative when you're doing this you can just play around with it plan with it sometimes you could have finished designing you just need to you know sometimes it's it's helpful but i actually don't use use it like that it does that for that so let's go to the next thing which is yeah which we have here right now is um how to save your designs after you finish designing just click on this icon here then you can see it save as image and save as project saving as like i said this even a project i mentioned it in the link i asked you to click in the description box how to save image as project just click on save image as project give it a name then save then how to get your project click on this first icon you can see my project these are designs i've made uh for a while now so this it actually helps because you can come back to edit your designs so this is the zoom icon so you just click this and zoom and zoom that's that so the next one here is use image from gallery i try to use this section at all the only thing i use here is cover up to save an image size i try to use this at all use image from gallery is a more of um let's see i think this has to do with the background let me just select anything here yeah it does it has to do with the background all right let me just um go back let me just go back 
full screen is full screen you know that's <laughs> how it does um image from camera is also the same thing with the background this from your camera exactly but i can use this export image too okay yes okay yes the same thing um okay the next recover to save is to help you recover your designs that let's say you didn't save them yeah you didn't save them so you can actually recover your design once it's not saved so you can see the time limit here i also mentioned this in the slide tips and tricks so let's go to let's touch this last one and see what we have let's see what we have there okay you can see this one i was trying out on the busy ads which i also mentioned in the in the video so you can see how many time limit there is here just click on anyone then you can you can see the design you didn't save it's just on a probability but once you have design um for a long period of time you can't get access to it again so let's click on the first one to take me back to the um ds take me back to here so that is what it does let's see what's next again um open PLP files actually it's just the same thing with um your project files where you see designs have projects so you can come back to edit them so that's what it does um okay that's all for here and this next thing is grid line you know this is actually helpful when you are working with something that requires you using it so this one is actually really helpful this this the first icon here is to add a new vertical grid line the next one here is to you know add a new horizontal line that is that you can use this to delete this one here is to delete 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 so that's that i actually don't use this many so since they are just for adding new lines so i don't use them since i can add from here so that's that this is the layer icon to get access to all your layers so that's what it does you can disable your layers from here see after that off so that's that all right let's go to what we have here so in order to start a new project just click on this first icon here and click on this first um whatever it is <laughs> the first black mine is black here might not be black because all pixels are about different so your own might not be black so you can actually you just start the project click on this then you're able to get access to your new project okay so the next thing here is the um this a icon it gives you access to text to edit only text so give the um, um, click on this just write um um i think there okay just all right so that's that so you click on that to edit you can edit your text here you can delete your text you can copy your text now they are double you can copy your text place this at the front place this at the front place this to the back but you actually don't see because this image is um together with the background you could have seen it so let's place this to the back let me disable this layer and um okay let me change the color for that so you can see it's at the back so that was it does place this at the back and that's the front all right let's go to the next thing in order to ready the text you have to make sure that you have the a icon layer so that is that the back and to the front position this is quite simple that's what it does basic position i use a lot to centralize the text so um the size is the same what it does that is what size does the padding is um sometimes your once you are working on something your text might kind of cut to just cut from either the left to the right so in order to do that where your text actually cut from you just you know we are just that this for the left in case your text just cut like this yes this is what, this is what i mean whether I left or right so you just click, go to padding make sure you have the a icon go to padding Wait, okay sorry go to padding and you know move the place that is actually cut out so you can that work for the right or the left so that's what it does the right or the left all right i'm just gonna do this this simple color pick a color i mentioned um the color and the gradient in um about shapes so you click on the plus icon here click on the plus icon here then you need to select the color so the next one is actually is texture this is nice it works for shape and um and um, text so you can give your um text a texture you select texture and select whatever image you want so you can see my font has this the texture that i just show you can delete the texture here this delete icon and if you case yourself another texture just click on this icon back and to select another texture this one will be some remove from there so you can see this actually to readjust the texture but i don't really use this most of the time so you can see let's say the part of the texture you want to be more visible that was it does so you just delete this um the texture effect opacity is simple to reduce the transparency of the text that was it does all right let me set that back the next one is rotate the same thing you can actually rotate like this from this uh curve um this curve marker scene once you touch the text you can see it's no longer there you can see it's there now so do that the next thing is uh maxing okay for maxing and bezier too i'll be doing a separate video for that let me just show you what um maxing does all right so here is a good example of um of um, what maxing does you can see this image here you can use maxing to do this the way this um 
down part was cut out that is what maxine does let me um show you guys another one here okay so maxine can do this also just to you know cut out some parts and let it try with the other part so maxine can do this also like i said i'm doing a separate video on that i can actually show you guys everything here i don't want this video to be too long all right so um let's go to the next thing after maxine his font is quite simple how to pick um your phone just click on that click on that go to my phone click on this icon here the second one click on the second one and then select your font you know yours might be in um, internal storage or sd card okay once you click clicking on this mine doesn't show that i said it's all pixel about different mine doesn't show but once you click clicking on this um this arrow that's pointing up you get access to your sd card and your phone storage so you locate the folder that kept your font I actually name mine which is my font which is this so once you click on that you get access to your phone so you just click on the font you want to import in pixel app click on that font and you know add just click on this add directory here so you can see the new font has been added but it's already since it's here i'll just delete this i'll just delete that so that's what it is that's how you actually add fonts this is how the font have um, added in pixel app so the next thing here is um style so you can actually use this, this is actually helpful sometimes sometimes you, also, you might want to use a particular font and the font might be too thin so you can just come here to style and you know click the first icon here bold you can see it's now bold you just let us let it click on this icon here the last one that's going back to the initial position italic this is what it does and underline that is what it does so the next thing here is on curve it's quite simple to make your text curve so this is what it does this is what it does this is what it does okay that's what it does all right so the next thing is um let's see what the next thing is uh background you can give your your text the background all right so let me just delete this i'll give my text you guys can see this is what i mean give my text the background so you can actually adjust this background you, you just made either the left padding the right padding just adjust it to your taste adjust it to your taste you can do the same for the top and the bottom yes you can do that and the radius also to make it curve the edge to make the edge curve just um readjust and see how okay with what the result you are seeing so this is what it does this is what it does all right let's go to the next thing the let me just um disable that align this align is actually helpful when um okay i think i have what's something here and place this okay actually it doesn't matter all right let's see let me place this to the front okay so this is what the align does this align to those can make sure you can use um place your text in the left and right and center alignment here's this you can see they are all uh, moving to the left same thing to the right and center so once you do that you can readjust that by shifting this just shift this to uh you know to your okay so this is what it does the same thing in the um right just do that and for the middle so you can see so this is what it does this is what it does so the next thing here is um spacing so let me just um disable this layer the next thing here is spacing so for in pixel lab this is actually helpful so this is actually if i use this a lot i use this a lot so you see you can see i've increased the um, horizontal line spacing for this so you can reduce your size i, I use this a lot especially when, when i've reduced my size and i still want my um text to be visible so you can reduce your size and you know increase the line spacing this is what it does you can do this for words and um words and um letters all right let me just edit this back hold on hold on so you can see so you can see there are the line spacing between them there so you can do this for just words all right see just the words are moving while letters to just the letters so that's what it does you can do um uh, the line spacing the vertical line spacing so once you are, you are, let's say or you're, the way I mentioned in the previous time when I was in the alignment, or the position to the is in, in the left alignment format, you can actually move the the vertical line spacing. So these are these what it does. You can just move move this to your okay. Because the moment you are resizing your text, um, tend to jump back. Whether it is um, both you can actually make use of both the vertical line spacing or the horizontal line spacing. Any of this, any of these two here, yeah, just make use of that. Depend on what you are actually seeing. So the next thing is that this is a stroke. You can give your text a stroke, but it's actually more cool when you want to do something like this. You just want to work with only only a stroke. So you, you just go for a transparent color. 
you can see there's if I see anything there I just go to stroke so you can see it is your stroke your stroke width so you can see let me increase the size so you can see you can see just see the difference that is what it does just um the stroke for only stroke let me delete that let me go to the next thing i have here let's see shadow it's quite simple just to add shadow just to add shadow the same thing i said this you click on the plus icon to pick your color the opacity of the shadow the blur radius you can see there it's affecting that glow just try this out the um offset x and y you know this is what it does sorry about my shadow color so <laughs> sorry about that also all right, that's what it does. The same thing, inner shadow, you're adding a inner shadow to your, okay, you can see this. Inner shadow is to your um, text. It, you can use it for text and shapes. And um, I think images, I'm not, I'm not sure, but I think it should. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then it does not work for that. All right, go to emboss. Can I enable this? Actually, don't use this. Um, actually, don't use this. You use this when you're working with um, text effect in Pixel App. Like I said, I don't use this. <laughs> This work does just you know you can just try it out and my own is never moving at all. So this is what emboss does, but I don't use that. The next thing is on this perspective too is actually helpful. But I actually don't use this too. You just have to be creative when you're using this. Very creative and careful. You this works with um especially when you want to do mock-up in Pixel Lab. So once you've gotten the transparent uh mock-up you have so you just use this to you know, position it 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 fits the um mock-up so this is what um it does okay it's actually not too bad this was the perspective to actually this is what it is for in pixel lab okay oh sorry sorry about that all right let me just disable that i don't need it i don't want it okay <laughs> 3D rotates is quite simple too. This is what it does. This Let's try for this image. You might want to rotate your image in the other direction. So just do this. You can see it. That way it does. I'll do this. But I don't need this here. So let me just go back. Okay, that's how it does. Um, the next thing here, let me look at my, my text. Let's go to 3D text. This is what it does. Increase the depth. Let me just play around with this. This is what it does. This is what it does. I don't know why my pixel app is actually giving me this kind of effect. I don't know why but this is what it does actually so the next thing here is um the 3d shadow so you can give this your text a shadow just pick whatever shadow you want i don't use this also i don't use this let me just disable this the last one here is reflection so yes you can see it already you can see it already my text has been reflected so you can just um okay i've already adjusted it. just work on that and adjust it um thing here is um this middle icon here just click on that you can see everything i think i mentioned this already yes i yes i have so the next one is this busy let me go to busier mode streets hold on sorry about that go to the busier and um the busier is actually used for drawing um curves like i said i'll be doing a separate video for this entirely the busier tool and the and the max and so so this is what the busier tool does you can use to draw curves like this creative shapes along most i don't think that's to do with um curves that is what um, you can use your busy tool for you can see curves like this curve like this that's what um, you can use busy tool for but i can't cover everything in this single video so i'll just have to keep it short all right so you can use to create logos that actually um require curves so this that's what the busy tool does so the next thing is um this last part has to do with everything you're touching here this last two parts is is affecting just your background so this one is to pick a background color make a background transparent so you're working with the logo you just want to you know work with the transparent background um let's pick a color the next thing is uh okay well, sorry the image size when you're working with um you know all designs have different size so that is just actually you know get a size the size for that in pixel app so you just come here and read it the size the next one is um image is also to select image from your background image this is how the back so yes every pixel app like i said every pixel app has different um um this thing background and stuff every setting is just different for every pixel not every setting sorry every tool they are the same the same way they are positioned it's just the way they are designed so that's just the um difference there so the same thing from gallery okay i mentioned image from gallery picking a a design or image or anything from your gallery and using it as your background the same thing from camera taking pictures from camera and the last one here is um exactly what it's for if our um, background is actually just the color so you can't see it's kind of this but actually i use this okay the next one, okay here is this what this does noise so okay you can see that this is what it does, what it does. you can increase the rate as which you want it to be this is what it does okay this is what it does just try that out 
next thing is um every single thing actually I, I don't think i need to go through this again and just try it out yourself that's what they do yes that is that that is that that is that that is that, that, is that. actually they won't come to the spot at all when i'm designing all right guys so that is the end for this tutorial thank you for checking out this video if you found it helpful can you like share and subscribe and do it to let me know the kind of video you would like me to upload next for my channel thank you for staying to the end i'll see you in my next video